CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.7 Compare and Contrast Internet Connection Types, Network Types, and Their Features. Network Types Networks of different sizes can be categorized in different ways based on their coverage and scale. In this video, we will cover the most common network types, starting with a PAN or personal area network. A PAN is the smallest of the network types we will cover. It's designed for individual use within a range of a few meters. Imagine the wireless connectivity between your smartphone, your Bluetooth headset, and your smartwatch. That's a perfect example of a PAN. It's primarily used for personal devices to connect and communicate over short distances, often using wireless technologies like Bluetooth. Next, we have local area networks or LANs. A LAN is a wired network that covers a small geographical area, typically within a building, small office, or home. This type of network allows devices to share resources, such as files or printers, within a single, contained environment. LANs are typically wired, using Ethernet cables to connect computers and other devices to a central router or switch, but they can also be wireless. Speaking of wireless, we also have WLAN networks. WLAN stands for Wireless Local Area Network. A WLAN is similar to a LAN, but the key difference is the use of wireless technology for connectivity. Instead of relying on physical cables, WLANs use wireless signals, such as Wi-Fi, to connect devices within a localized area. A WLAN may also be connected to a LAN. In this way, a WLAN can extend a LAN by providing a method for wireless devices to connect to and share resources with the wired LAN network. Now, let us expand our horizon to wide area networks, or WANs. WANs cover a much larger area than LANs, or WLANs. A WAN is a network that spans a large geographical area, typically connecting multiple LANs or remote locations. WANs are used to connect networks across cities, countries, or even continents. They enable long-distance communications and data exchanges between geographically dispersed sites. The Internet itself can be considered a massive WAN, connecting networks worldwide. Metropolitan Area Networks, or MANs, cover an area larger than a LAN but smaller than a WAN, typically spanning a city or a metropolitan area. They are used to connect multiple LANs within a geographical area, allowing organizations and buildings to share resources at high speeds. Lastly, we'll cover Storage Area Networks, or SANs. A SAN is a dedicated high-speed network that interconnects and presents shared pools of storage devices to multiple servers. SANs are designed to handle large volumes of data and are typically used in server rooms or data centers. They allow for more efficient storage management and access in complex environments. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.